are driving, we're going three hours today. We're taking the fifth wheel up to get the axles fixed. The axles are pretty jacked and uh, we're about to go on our big trip. And so I think we should get those fixed. potty stop for the girls and everybody um, this is strawberry we're up at strawberry and it's crazy because there's still snow up here it's flooding and uh, we're having a good time so pit stop on the way to Vernal All right, we just made it. We're dropping the trailer off with our guy. Do you want to see the horses? Tay Lynn. Right now. now the problem with the trailer is these suspension hangers are bent. I'll find my boat. Guys, we just dropped the trailer off and now we made it to Dinosaur National Monument. It's a really cool place. Uh, somewhere we've wanted to go for a while. And uh, we just took the opportunity since we're here. This is the real dinosaur bones. Touch the dinosaur bones. Only touch the real ones, guys. And do not climb. Do not climb. Whoa, look at you. Don't climb, Tap. I'm ready to go eat. Is it just me or does she still got to eat? You are the winner. this trailer we're gonna be making this straight again make trailer axle straight again it's a little bit bent it's uh sitting in a little bit on this trailer well here's the frame uh 
We're gonna cut your cut the brackets off of the trailer, the leaf spring perches, and uh, got it all welded up nice. Got some nice welds, so uh, need to pick it up and finish welding the bottom of this. But then uh, it's time to use the old crane, pick the trailer up, and start cutting the leaf spring perches off. So, and that, boys and girls, is how you pick a trailer up. Luckily, we had the old crane jack stands now it's time to start cutting this is the lift kit we're giving this trailer it's a I'm gonna put that I'm gonna cut these off and put that lift block in between here and it then I'll brace this really good and uh, just weld it up. Lieutenant Dan, you got no legs. Got this all welded up. Oh, probably should take that clamp off. Had to clean all these off. And now we're gonna level this. See, and then I'm gonna put a brace that goes from there all the way to there. So uh, it quits tweaking. Well, decided to go right here. Got that one braced and got that one braced. And now she is pretty dang sturdy. So I don't think that's going to be flexing anymore. Time to get the axles underneath it. Well, here she is. All done. Got new jacks put on. Got it all braced real nice. Everything's welded really nice. Got all the welds taken care of. So she's welded up pretty. And uh, ready for them to come and get it. New jacks front and in the middle and in the rear is what he wanted. So that's what we did. New brace is right there so it doesn't tweak anymore. Got the welds taken care of. Had a cracked frame. Had to weld that up for him. So... She's all done. Ready for him to come and get it. All right, we're about two minutes away from meeting Taylin to pick up the trailer. Um, I never met Taylin, but uh, I'm excited to go see what he did on the trailer. Seems like he knows what he's doing. In a doing. quarter mile, turn right onto 1500 East Street. Oh, um, Taylin is pretty young, so he's a lot younger than me, so. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll, uh, spice it up so, so he thinks I'm young too. Did you move it out here and tow it or anything? Yeah. I like that. So since it's three hours home, you realize I drove 12 hours for you. <laughs> yeah. Because you're that good. He's ready to go camping. So much better. You like it? Yeah, it's awesome. And we could, it's, it's almost perfectly level. Well guys, I'm super stoked. The trailer is super level. Did I say super enough times? Um, I'm really happy with the work Taylin did. Stand up guy. Super easy to communicate with. Great to work with. 
um, easy going, took care of all my needs, and I think this is gonna work out awesome. I can't wait to tow the trailer, see how it tows. guys we're here at what used to be called Pearson Tire it's now Tire Co up in Salt Lake City these guys are awesome so I've got these tires that I need to return I bought these all steel 12 plies oh, I bought these for the trailer but then everything happened and we lifted the trailer and it needs a little more lift so we're going a little bit bigger so we're actually gonna go up to a 16 inch wheel and tire and hopefully those fit. I'll show you later when we get to the shop. My wife's gonna kill me, but I'm, I might be going with the aluminum wheels. We'll see, he's gonna pull some out. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Shane is the man. Shane was here yesterday helping me. Stayed late, ran all the numbers, and then I uh, brought my old tires back to return this morning. So these are the T17 matte black wheels i don't know i think they'll look okay on the trailer should be six lug 16. Ooh, those look good yeah those are kind of cool huh <laughs> these are 235 80 16 freedom haulers all right, how much weight can they hold right here? At 95 PSI, they can hold 3,700 pounds. That's more than enough for my trailer. I'm here with Shane. Shane's the man. He helped Thank me get you. it all done. He, I dropped in literally yesterday, Friday night, at 5 p.m. when they closed, and he stayed for at least half an hour to help me. So he's amazing, and uh, he's back here on Saturday. Shout out to Shane and Justin's out in the shop, and AJ, everyone here at Tire Co., formerly Pearson Tire. So we're gonna go home and see if they fit, and if they don't fit, come back. <laughs> we're gonna have to come back and get a new strap. Now, we might have to cut some fenders and stuff, but I think they'll fit. All right, Shane, you're the man. Thank you, sir. Awesome, come back to Tire Co. anytime, I'm here. That's right, Tire Co. up in Salt Lake, good stuff. Okay, we'll just go see if they fit. moment of truth it looks really level we're gonna go out and test drive it okay guys we got it done it's in front of the house 
it's pretty level. Let me turn this camera around and show you. A little steel wheel on the back there. And man, this thing is tall. Now, tall is not good because tall is high center of gravity, which is you're gonna roll. But we're working with what we got, so I love it. I think it looks awesome. The trailer's super clean. And I love those wheels and tires. I think they look rad. It's a 235-80-16, so it's a, I think it's a 30-inch tire. And I went ahead and sprayed all the uh, lift kit that he did. Sprayed that with some undercoating a little. So if we look down the side of the trailer, I think it's pretty level with the truck. One thing I think I might do is lower the hitch in the bed because there's adjustment there. I can actually lower the hitch in the bed a little bit, maybe a couple inches because right now I don't have air in the rear. I don't have the airbags pumped up and I want to do that. So I think if I lower the hitch a couple inches, then I can do air and be dead. It's, it's close enough, guys. But it's done. Tires and wheels fit great. They look great. We cleaned up the trailer. Now we are ready to go. We got those middle jacks. So six point leveling. And these Freedom Hauler tires freedom hauler tires with those wheels i think it looks all right all right guys that's a wrap on the trailer thanks for watching this episode stay tuned as we take it across america and we'll make little episodes for you guys each place we go it's gonna be a lot of fun All right, so I fixed everything in the suspension and frame and tires and brakes and Tara is getting the whole inside of the, Tara, this is Tara, hi. Tara, she's got a vacuum. She's getting the whole side of the trailer, inside of the trailer perfect for the trip because we're going on a trip. Where are we going on this trip? Wait. Yep, that's where we're going. And so look, you can see everything we're this doing. This is the outro. And it Enjoy. looks great. So let me just show you we're around. We're a happy, big, happy family. See, there's the stuff. There's the back room.